It started off as digestive issues, then came a tumor in his colon. For Charles Aguilon and his wife, their world was turned upside down when he was diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Then came the pandemic on top of that. Charles Aguilon and his wife Vanessa love spending time with their dog Ezra. They moved to the Bee Cave Galleria last year, downsizing from a house to this apartment after their youngest of two sons graduated high school. It's definitely quiet, uh, and then we've got lots of time on, on some days. We realize how much, how much time we devoted to them when they were here. As teachers at Lake Travis ISD, their relocation allows them to be closer to their jobs. But when they moved here last spring, everything changed. They have a lot of pastries and, and different things, of course, and coffee and drinks. Not only was the country shut down by COVID-19, Charles was told he needed to stay inside at all times. I literally never even checked the mail or went outside. I literally got in the car, went to treatment, came home, got back in, in into the apartment. He was diagnosed with colorectal cancer in July of 2019 at the age of 48 a time when his youngest son was about to enter his senior year of high school. For Charles, it started as digestive issues, then a trip to his primary care doctor. When nothing was working, a colonoscopy was the next step. The doctor said, you know, I can't even get past a certain point because there's a large mass there. He was having some of these symptoms that, that went on for several months and being younger, uh, I think, you know, you don't automatically think, oh gosh, this could be a colon cancer. Dr. Jeff Yorio, a medical oncologist, uh, says catching it early was Charles's best chance of survival. After chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, yeah, he was able to beat it in May of 2020, just in time for his son to walk the stage. He credits being proactive and visiting his doctor early as the reason he's still alive today encouraging everyone with ongoing issues to be screened. Just the fact that uh, I got some people to go in and have colonoscopies or just go talk to their doctor was, um, if anything, um, a blessing for me that I feel like, you know, sharing my story helped others. Almost one year after moving into his new home, they're just getting to experience all of its perks, finally getting to enjoy a cup of coffee again. Yeah, Kathy hasn't hasn't been in, seen her. She's going to come in usually until the afternoons. Even if it is just the two of them now and their dog, their college-age kids have a dad to come home to.